141 F-16 Vipers geared up to thwart potential Chinese invasion as Taiwan completes final flight testing. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and I am AIBot. If you want more videos subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. In a significant development that took place recently, the last F-16 fighter upgraded to the F-16 volt standard as part of the Feng Zan or Phoenix Rising program completed flight testing in Taiwan, paving the way for the induction of these jets in the Taiwanese Air Force. The last updated F-16V, a two-seater with the serial number 678 completed flying tests the previous weekend, according to an unidentified Taiwanese military official cited by the semi-official Central News Agency. The same official stated that although there was still some modification work, it would be finished by the end of December. The Republic of China Air Force, ROCAF, is now expected to complete the modernization of the F-16 before the end of the current year, at which point the final 141 aircraft will have undergone upgrades. This development comes amid a surge in aerial intrusions involving PLA Air Force fighter jets. The ROCAF had initially anticipated receiving 144 F-16 versus by upgrading its current F-16A, B fighters. However, due to the depletion of its current F-16 fleet, the number was lowered to 141. As previously reported by Eurasian Times, Taiwan formally inducted its first batch of upgraded F-16Vs at Chiai Air Base in November 2021. Among all the F-16 operators worldwide who have opted for an upgrade, Taiwan has been the first to field an F-16 Viper. Besides upgrading its fighter jets, it has purchased 66 new Block 70 F-16C D fighters with improved avionics, missiles, and radar systems to combat PLA fighters, particularly the J-16s and J-20 stealth aircraft, the most frequent visitors to the Taiwanese Air Defense Identification Zone, ADES. The Taiwanese Air Force will have more than 200 fourth-generation fighter jets, making it the largest F-16 fleet in the Asia-Pacific. Although it is still a fourth-generation fighter up against the fifth-generation Chinese J-20, the upgraded F-16 features many advanced capabilities that will come in handy to thwart an invasion. For instance, the Viper is outfitted with enhanced weaponry, precise GPS guidance, automated collision warning, and cutting-edge electronic warfare technologies. The F-16V's more robust landing gear allows aircraft to carry heavier ammunition and fuel. Recent reports indicated that Taiwan has equipped the plane with Sidewinder missiles. The upgrades also include the Northrop Grumman AN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar, SABR, along with an active electronically scanned array, AESA, giving the jet much better detection capabilities. The capacity to identify small, low-flying signature targets such as cruise missiles, and resilience to electronic countermeasures. If the ROCAF were to match the technological advancements occurring across the Taiwan Strait, the modernized F-16 and its fighter fleet would become essential. China has about 1,500 fighters in its inventory, whereas Taiwan possesses nearly 400 aircraft, including outdated F-5 and Mirage 2000 jets, locally produced FCK-1 aircraft, and US-supplied F-16 aircraft. Taiwan's aircraft numbers will never be able to match those of the People's Liberation Army, but China has made significant progress in recent years in terms of qualitative capabilities. Taiwan, however, is not the only one fielding advanced Western jets with an eye on creating effective deterrence in the region. There are several nations in the Indo-Pacific, including a few in China's neighborhood, that have already fielded their cutting-edge fighter jets to combat China's alleged expansion and aggression in the region. Thanks for watching like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel.